Good morning Minecraft gamers and welcome back to another exciting episode of Fun with Flapjack Hardcore Minecraft. In today's episode I'm picking back up on this Enderman farm and putting together the drop tube. So uh, follow the pattern I showed you earlier and you should be able to do exactly what I've just done. Okay it looks like yeah it looks like that I am just at the right amount because right here is where I would put, uh, place a solid block or another row of half slabs. But I don't want to do that just yet because if I place them, <laughs> isn't this really cool? Yeah, you're way up here. Got to be super careful, don't fall off. But if I place the blocks into their full block position, then I have to put light up here, and then there's a chance that I could deal with a light glitch error in the game, and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to leave these half slabs for now, just remembering that I need to bring up, uh, looks like 18 more slabs. So, yeah, I was just short of, only by five, I was just short of how many I needed to do this, and that's pretty doggone close to just awesome. I think I brought about 18 slabs to do this. I mean, 18 stacks of those slabs to do this. So uh, the next part of what we're going to do here is going to be uh, filling in the big platform for the area for the Enderman to spawn. And then, of course, right here in the center, we're going to also need to have a... Uh, an Endermite trapped in a minecart up above, and then we'll name him. And so, yeah, if you 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 want me to name the Endermite a certain name, just give me a comment down below and let me know. Otherwise, I'll probably just name it uh, Tiny or something like that. I don't know, something silly. But uh, yeah, this will be uh, then wrapped in trap door or not wrapped in trap doors. This space here will all be trap doors that'll be opened, and then the Enderman would think that this is a solid block, and they'll chase the uh, Endermite trying to kill it, because for whatever reason. And then, yeah, yeah, basically this whole farm set up to operate off of Endermen being aggroed by an Endermite, and then they fall. And so it's just a, uh, it's a fall trap. And then, uh, yeah. Yeah, you end up getting everything you need from it. But uh, I'm going to jump down here, hopefully not die. I do have my wings on, yes. And I'm gliding, I'm gliding. There it is. That looks really cool. It's a really nice type of build. And splat. <laughs> and splat. So let's see, I don't need that block there either. And then I need to uh, bring uh, build some more slabs, no big deal. But uh, this space here, Enderman can't spawn here either. And so this whole thing's set up for a collection system to run right across here and you know, into your storage chest on the end, however you want that to be set up. And then, of course, you can just put that into a, uh, a dispenser eventually or just take it out and let the Ender Pearls uh, despawn because you'll have so many you won't really need them but I'm going to break these blocks out so I can get around this thing and then honestly to get back up there I probably need to bring some ladders it was 40 something blocks up there um, yeah I'll just have to set up something to get up top because again I don't land really that great in this game so I don't want to try to fly up there and risk getting clobbered but uh, when you're running back this direction make sure you don't aggro any endermen as they come into render and don't break the leaf blocks that would be bad for you. But uh, this is uh, how an Enderman farm gets started. And I'm going to make my way over here to this island and jump in the uh, portal probably because I'm not going to have enough blocks to build this farm. So I'm going to want to go ahead and go get some more cobblestone. This farm can be uh, built out of basically anything that you want to build it out of. And as cheaply as cobblestone or as expensive uh, as expensive as uh, emerald blocks from like a raid farm if you wanted to any kind of block that's spawnable and then you just need the uh, half slabs to build the drop you know the the drop trap area and uh, yeah at the end of the day it's not that hard really to build yourself an Enderman farm the Ender Ender has been a pretty cool farm in Java for quite a while built this way and that's how I'm going to build it for you in the next episode. So I'm going to go grind some blocks and I'll be back on the next show. Thanks for watching. 
Good morning, Minecraft gamers, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Fun with Flapjack Hardcore Minecraft. So this is a continuation of the uh, Building an Interman Farm series that I put together. I have, uh, let's see, this will be like my third round of recording to make you a nice, decent, hopefully a nice, decent 15 minute quick watch video. And I wanted to show you what my world looks like without my gamma kicked up. Yeah, it's all doom and gloom. There's bats down there flying around. It's pitch black down these tunnels. This is why I'm constantly saying, oh, don't forget to put out your torches because, you know, down in these tunnels and in these dark, desperate areas of this game, anything could be spawning in here. Monsters could be everywhere, lurking around every corner. So thankfully, we've got some torches out right now. But uh, yeah, I'm going to need to go ahead and jump out of the game and set my gamma back up so I can uh, both record better and see better while I'm down here. Having access to your options, TXT. a TXT file is really helpful in this game. I think, nope, that's just a glitch look, uh, glitchy look in my distance there I thought a creeper was in one of those uh, tunnels but thankfully it wasn't but uh, yeah anyways so I'm gonna jump out of here and I'm going to change my options txt back to a solid gamma and then I'll be right back hey, I did manage to get nearly a shulker box full of cobblestone and while I was down there I got uh, 40 or so bits of iron ore and was able to also make myself a stack of coal blocks and a few extra and then I got a half a stack of redstone blocks and 12 blocks of lapis so did pretty nicely down there and mined away uh, with fortune 3 grabbed 44 diamonds while I was down there so things are looking good things are looking good badger yeah, I like that name. I want to thank my uh, my friends over in the UK, in Wales, for coming up with that name. I do believe they uh, have or had a puppy dog named Badger. I don't recall if they still do or if they just did, but I think they still do. Yeah, anyways, comment down below if you watch this video at all and let me know. I couldn't remember. But uh, yeah, I'm working on an Enderman farm. And I've been collecting the resources that I need to get things done. So, yeah, I'm going to just finish putting these things that I collected along the way. That's a lot of diamonds. Uh, let's see. That's a lot of lapis as well. <laughs> yeah, I feel a little bit silly. I have to go get my ender chest that I had sitting at the end because... I forgot to switch back over to my silk touch pick, so I mined my in chest with my fortune pick. And if any of you know Minecraft, you cannot pick up your ender chest with a silk touch uh, without a silk touch pickaxe. And I forgot to swap over the fortune that I was using for all the cobblestone back to my silk pick, which I am a silk pick player. I typically use that exclusively. And then I'll even mine the ore with it and then convert it later with fortune. Yeah, jump in the portal here and I'm going to go ahead and scoop up my inner chest that I left laying here, I think, because um, I don't really need it here. I had left it here originally thinking I would end up using it and I'm just not. So... I'm going to go ahead and grab that because I like having my ender chest in my inventory. And then I don't need that. It's almost worn out. I forgot I had torches right there. Actually, what I was getting ready to do was put, <laughs> was put the rockets in here. At some point, I will set up a chest to hold all of my different items. That's the reason I have 27 shulker boxes in my inner chest is because I like to have everything portable and ready to move to a new location if I need to relocate especially playing online Minecraft when you are playing online with people you know things can get silly and 
um, people like to raid your stuff. That's the type of worlds I play in where people like to raid your stuff. And, uh, yeah, I just don't want to, I just don't want them to be able to get the cool stuff. So I put everything in portable chests, man, that's a lot of Enderman. At some point I should set up this entire Island so that the Enderman can't even spawn on it. And that would be much, much better for me. And then, you know, when I fought the dragon, it would regenerate the obsidian towers and those things. Man, I forgot to put my rockets down here. Move my inventory around a little bit. You know, if, like, I fall off of this thing, which I, I usually don't. Walking in a straight line, basically, in Minecraft is easy enough. But... Yeah, it's a little daunting when you're walking along a single wide path in the void. And so silliness happens. But that is the uh, that is the cobblestone drop zone for your future ender farm, ender ender. And it looks really great in cobblestone, I think. So I don't mind using it. And it looks even better now that the cobblestone has been changed to look much better. But, uh, yeah, you don't have to use cobblestone. You can use, I use stone brick block a lot with stone, uh, the stone, smooth stone slabs, and it looks really cool. Sometimes I'll alternate the uh, smooth stone, and then the next row will be uh, like cobblestone or stone brick slabs. It's honestly just, you know, what you want to do with it. And I did forget to bring my uh, ladders, but... Uh, yeah, that's going to be an issue, isn't it? I don't have any wood with me to get up there. So I'm going to have to rocket myself up there and try to land. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I'm not the best uh, flying player in this world of Minecraft, but I'll try. I'll try. Uh, let's see. I know we need some slabs when we get up there. and I did not even bring the wood for the trapdoors. And I forgot to name the Endermite. <laughs> uh, not the Endermite. I forgot to name the name tag for the Endermite. And so this is just all the way I play my game. It's absolute derp constantly. But uh, yeah, at the end of the day, I get the job done. Let's see. I didn't mean to put that there. That stays like that. Uh, let's see. We brought that down by one and then just place that block over it. Why? Because you can. You could even place... Um, Stairs here, actually. Stairs might even look better. I should have brought a couple stair steps with me, but I didn't. So here's what I'll do. Or did I? Let me double check. I think I did, thinking that I might need some stair steps. I sure did. Look at that. Look at that. Flapjack for the win. And so, you know, you can basically set this up to look anything like what you want it to look like. You can turn these blocks, you know, so that they're... Um, giving them so that it's giving them a little bit of shape nothing really uh, matters how you do it you just you know do it the way you like it do it the way you want to it's your world right you should enjoy doing what you're doing here so yeah I'm going to have the uh, cobble chest there it's going to be an enormous amount of cobblestone I think I need that there and then when I'm up top building this, I'll definitely be grabbing more stacks of blocks because uh, six stacks is not going to be enough. This thing is really large up there. So a really large build. But uh, this lets me have that. And I needed my, I was cooking that iron so I can make my hoppers and I forgot to bring those as well. So basically, yeah, everything is just like a huge fail. But uh, this side, I, oh, this side I was thinking I might actually place a trap door here and close it. Now, I guess it'd be open it. It's, it's closed when it's flat. So open it, and there will be trap doors here all along this side as well. So that's 7, 14, that's 15 trap doors that I need here. All righty, looks like I overran my 15-minute window for this episode, so I'm going to stop here and get started on the next episode. Thanks for watching.